I'm here standing at this triangular intersection uh, in front of African Sunset. So this whole street is African Sunset, um, but each like two houses, you've got these little courts, which are also African Sunset. So they, you can't park in front of this house. I do, do want to point that out. It's very specific about that. But this is the uh, middle of the block. So it is a one car garage. The kitchen's upstairs. So when you enter, there is a, obviously the front door here, but that door that's in front of me that's open, that's also to the garage. So single car garage, living room. And there's a bedroom on the first floor. It's a king size bed. You can see it's a little big for this room. It's all bed here. Um, looking out the window, you're looking at your neighbor's wall. And that door goes to the bathroom, walk-in closet. Goes back quite a ways. So you can get to the bathroom from your own door inside the room, or we have this hallway that you can go through. There is a full, it's a full bath, so you do have a shower and tub. So I'm definitely not a fan of the color of the trim. I think that needs to be changed. Whoever painted the walls, if you look in between, they didn't get the space in there. So it gets darker actually uh, in between that those two door frames. It's a glossy paint, which you don't see often in you know, the common areas, usually it might be a, um, a satin finish, but this is definitely like a glossy, like you'd see in a kitchen or in a bathroom. And they did that, looks like throughout the downstairs. That's definitely a spot that when they paint it over, it needs to be touched up. You'll see in there too. Tile floors. countertops, just kind of a basic fiberglass. Okay, up to the kitchen. So at the top of the stairs, um, directly behind me is a half bath. And then you've got a bedroom right off the stairs. We'll go in there later. Looks like uh, maybe from cooking, you've got some oil up there on the ceiling. Granite countertops on, in the kitchen. Looks like dirt. Tile floors, stainless steel appliances. They have an extended desk area here. Looks like there's a pantry. Basic. Nice day out. You see the clouds, but very pretty. Um, so I'm south facing right now. So you're always going to get sun throughout the day on this deck, which means it's probably going to be pretty hot uh, in the summertime or even late spring. So again, the half bath. This room looks a little bigger. You could actually put a side table because the bed looks about the same size. And then view of your neighbor's wall. So I turned on the light. We do have tile floors. That same kind of dark peach color is on all of the trim, which is not good. Uh, definitely need to clean up the paint job here and the caulking. Looks like they had tape here at one time and that's just 
tape. All of that's probably tape. Uh, a little bit of damage down here. Could be just water coming out of the shower at one time or another. Not great on the paint. Definitely needs to be repainted, cleaned up. Eh, not bad on the closet size. So leaving the house, some of the stucco needs to be patched. And you can see over here too. Cosmetic stuff, paint starting to chip off. There is no backyard access from inside the house. So if you were going to barbecue, you'd have to, <laughs> you'd have to take your uh, tray of meat and bring it down the stairs and out your front door and down the side of your house. It also doesn't make for a really great uh, dog run or anything because you can't just let your dog out. <laughs> you got to walk him to the backyard. This is 11076 Abbey Field Rose. The curb appeal on this one is way better. Oh my God, May <laughs> way better. Uh, obviously with trees though, you do have more maintenance if you're looking at a investment property. And I can see some of the trees are getting a little close to the house. Compared to the other house, you definitely have more parking options right across the street. There's a big open curb. Um, this is a more trafficy area though. There's definitely more cars driving in from the main road to get into the neighborhood and that's Amigo Street up there. Just like the other house, there is no backyard access from the inside of the house. This is gonna be the same floor plan, but you'll see a big difference in the uh, upgrades on the inside of the house. So they've updated the flooring. It looks like it's a, you know, luxury vinyl plank. Nice colors, paint looks pretty fresh. Downstairs bedroom. You have the laundry room here and they did cut a little doggy door to get to the backyard, which I think is smart. Uh, they did update this. Um, it's actually taller than that last one that we saw. And the quartz, of course, is updated. They did have some issues here. It looks like they didn't quite understand how to cut the drywall and they tried to fill it in with caulk. This is a full bathroom. I do like the higher ceiling. It does give it, you know, a roomier feel. Um, this all looks pretty good. It's a new toilet. That obviously needs to be fixed. Behind us is a strip mall, but it's pretty private. It's not like anybody's going to be walking along that back wall. Same one car garage as the other house. Hot water heater. Back to the living room and we'll go upstairs to the kitchen. So on the second floor, you have your kitchen, a half bathroom, and a bedroom. Nice open space. They've updated all of the countertops to a quartz. Stainless steel appliances. Everything just looks to be in better condition in this home. Whirlpool versus Frigidaire appliances. So if you remember, the other house had that desk extension. This one doesn't, uh, but you do, <laughs> you do have your RJ11 in case you want a house phone. Oh, landline. Pantry. And we have the balcony patio. Now this is facing north. So you won't get as much sun, I don't think, on this 
side, it might make it more usable. But yeah, these trees go like, grow like crazy. I believe it's an African sumac. So they'll drop their leaves, they'll drive you bananas. There's gonna be a lot of maintenance that's gonna be needed for this tree. But it does make it look a lot prettier and create some privacy. Tile floors, attic access in the bathroom. And this here is your primary bedroom on the second floor. Again, um, I think they paid to have just a nicer cabinet put in originally. It's original. You, I can tell that it's been painted, but it's taller than the uh, cabinets in the other house. And then you've got the walk-in closet. I just noticed you have a little linen cupboard behind the door. I'm not, I don't know if the other one had that or not. But yeah, you're looking out onto your neighbor's wall. And then again, that's a strip mall over there. Looks like this window's seal has been broken. So you've got uh, some moisture kind of stuck in there. Um, nothing you can do to fix it. You just have to replace it really. But yeah, that's the strip mall. And you can kind of see your backyard there. I do want to point out that they actually put Smurf tubes, which is nice. So if you mount your television, all of your cords can get hidden behind the wall and then get pulled out here and then plugged in to those sockets. They've also offered that in the living room. Walking from the front of the house down the side to the backyard, this is the only way a human can get into the backyard. Uh, we're gonna take a look at that doggy door that they cut into the laundry room. Interesting that they put these stones here. I have no idea why these are here. But yeah, so you've got this little doggy door. So if you had a pet, they could come out and they could, you know, which actually is really smart. Um, again, you've got that strip mall behind you, but it's very quiet. And it makes a huge difference to have a little pad and some plants because that other backyard was really sparse. So one cool thing about this neighborhood, particularly Abbey Rose, um, that one, Abbey Field Rose, is right here, walking distance to the big Costco shopping center. So if price were the same, I would definitely choose the second house. Uh, but you know, the second house is priced higher and I'm assuming that it will continue to be priced higher than this first house with less wiggle room, unless it sits on the market for some time. Um, the first house that we saw has been on the market for a couple of months. The second house we saw has only been on the market for a few days, like one week. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see, I think, um, and see if it makes sense to make an offer on either one.